very own birthday cash. Instead of a t getting toys or a birthday to celebrate his eighth birthday, little Adam Hassan wanted to give back to the police officers that he looked up to. So he went to the Columbia Police Station and gave his $100 to officers. That good deed did not go unrewarded. Officers also had a little surprise for Adam up their sleeve. And I hear the sirens, and then and then I was running. Officers gave him, officers gave him a tour of the station there and an assignment. The Columbia Police Department technically cannot accept donations, so his money was donated to the Columbia Police Foundation. Very cute there. It's great that he's doing something that he believes in and good and for the community. And he's a kid. And my, then, my kids would not be giving up their birthday <laughs> presents or money. So good the cops no. off to the parents for doing a good job raising that kid up. Right. Let's talk about what's happening out there. T big change today from yesterday. Mm -hmm. We have the sunshine back. It is warmer. It's definitely going to be above average, but you know what? Probably good to be heading out to the ballpark. You know, oh, no yes. weather or if you've got the or worries, if you will. Yeah. All right, let's talk about washing the car because maybe it's been a while. We had that wet day yesterday. Maybe it's been a while since you've given the old car a good uh, once over. Well, a good couple of days to do it because the weather it's cooperating nicely i don't really see a lot of moisture in our short-term forecast long term maybe a little different into next week but next couple of days we're pretty solid we're good to go on today temperatures in the mid 80s are average of 74 folks so definitely above average but dry and good deal of sunshine sunshine tomorrow 94 that is a record buster we'll talk about that coming up in just a bit and thursday pretty solid as well although we do have a bit of a change of maybe some showers rolling in here late Thursday ahead of our next system. 71 right now across the area from Hagerstown, our cool spot to mid 70s, a little bit closer to town. Dallas at this hour checking in in the upper 70s and we have a good deal of sunshine, although we did start off with some clouds this morning. Those clouds have been giving way to some sunshine and temperatures have been responding. Our friends down in Page County now 82 out in Frederick, Virginia in Winchester 81. Meanwhile, up in Frederick, Maryland, 75, 79 in the city, Upper Marlboro at 80, and Annapolis sitting at 75 right now. Our friends in Southern Maryland, Lindertown, 79 at this hour. So as we head through the afternoon, not expecting much. Mainly clear skies, good deal of sunshine, just a few scattered clouds and temperatures responding middle 80s or so by this afternoon. Let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow we start off mild in the morning. We're in the 70s tomorrow morning, so very mild to start off. A big launch, uh, high launching pad to then to take us into the 90s. Look at that, 93, 94 tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon. That would be a record. Record is 89 tomorrow. Then as we head towards Thursday, warm air is around here as well. But some of the models hinting at maybe a little bit of a backdoor front in the morning, which could bring a sprinkler shower and potentially hold those temperatures back somewhat. Not necessarily a bad thing because it is fall after all. So look at this. Tomorrow's record is 89 and that should fall. In fact, that record 89 is at Reagan National, at BWI through Good Marshall, even at Dulles International. They all have the same record and I think they will all fall. Our average last day of 90 degree weather around here is typically on September 10th, but obviously we're way past that. Thursday, a transitional day. I still think it's going to be pretty toasty around here. Our five day trend. Take a look at that record likely to fall for the day on Wednesday. Not so much to fall on the day on Thursday. Thursday right now we're going with 80s. The record on Thursday is 92 and then notice how Friday and Saturday those temperatures drop back. Our seven day forecast shows a transitional cooling breeze on Friday. Washer and chillier weather. 40s at night in the burbs on Saturday and Sunday for early mornings. Upper 60s and low 70s in the afternoon. Perfect for the fall for Fairfax Kids Fest. We'll be out there live Saturday and Sunday. We encourage you to come out with the kiddos and say hi. We have lots of cool goodies. We'll have the storm track. And it's going to be a very nice fall weekend. I actually need a little extra layer. Looking forward to it, Brian. Thank you. Well, in today's Spotlight on Education, a Prince George's County school is getting high marks for its healthy habits. Kelly Lynn is showing us why the school in Laurel has been named one of America's healthiest schools. Come on, y'all, let's go, set up. Passing a bean bag while holding a plank. This PE class is just one way Montpelier Elementary is making fitness a priority. I think it's very important for the schools to promote a healthy lifestyle. PE teacher Steve Mitzak isn't the only one who thinks so. Students here are on board too. They're participating in yoga and flag football before the school day even begins. Before school you get, get like to work out and stretch your body out. 
makes me feel more awake and maybe not want to slouch when I'm in my classes. Because we have a fitness club that meets in the mornings before school. We do jam every morning on the announcements. It stands for just a minute. So we have kids come up, do exercises for the whole school, and they lead it. And on Fridays, we do dancing. What students and teachers are doing at Montpelier is getting noticed. The Alliance for a Healthier Generation has named it one of America's healthiest schools. We have a whole bunch of options, like we have different salads, and then on the other side, we'd have lots of fruits and more different types of salads and just vegetables themselves. Another impactful change, putting lunch after recess. The shift has led to students eating more of their food and making healthier choices. I used to not like salad, but this school actually made me love salad now. A focus on health and fitness that's improving habits and pushing kids in the right direction. All right, here we go. In Laurel, Kelly Lynn, ABC 7 News. Montepelier is the only school in Prince George's County recognized with the award. In Montgomery County, five schools were named America's healthiest schools. If you know of a program, teacher, or student that we should shine a spotlight on, let us know. Just go to WGLA.com.